So that's of course me playing the Poor's classic song, uh, More Wine Way to Please. I love that song. I love the Poor. The Poor and the Screaming Jets have done many tours together over the last 30 years. I consider them uh, good friends of mine. I love uh, Skinny's voice. I think he's one of the great rock voices you'll ever hear anywhere. And uh, it's been cool that they've re-recorded this song. Uh, I know Gleeso and Even Angry have uh, made an appearance on the record. But I've got my own Poor story because... Um, Back in the day, they uh, were recording the first album, Who Cares? I think it was about 94, Paul uh, Northfield, I think was the producer. hope I'm right about that. And uh, they uh, were having some troubles with their guitar sounds uh, or the tuning. They were having these, they had some Kramer guitars. Skinny still got his, I'm pretty sure, but Julian was playing at that time. And um, they uh, asked if uh, I could bring some guitars down to the studio. I think they were at Festival Studios in Sydney. And... Uh, uh, rent or loan them uh, a couple of uh, um, proper rock guitars, proper. But uh, I had two guitars with me in Sydney, my 69 uh, Gold Top, which is this one. That's a real 69, no dot on the eye. And, uh, and my Cherry Red uh, Deluxe uh, Converted, which is uh, got humbuckers in it, and that's a 73. Uh, that's my first ever Les Paul, that one. So I took both those guitars down to the studio and walked in. They were in the process of recording uh, this track, and um, they had a bunch of guitars down already, but uh, I literally came in, they tuned up, uh, I think this Les Paul, this, this gold top, I'm pretty sure, and uh, Julian sat straight down and started recording and doubling tracks on this particular song immediately with this guitar. So now I don't know what what ended up on the record, but I, I think it's a pretty good guess to say that uh, these Les Pauls appeared on, on that album, which is a great record. So back to the track, uh, the opening piece I've recorded it uh, or I've demonstrated it for you in uh, uh, half step down tuning. So what I mean is the E string is tuned down to E flat. Uh, the Jets tune that way. A lot of people, Van Halen, Jimi Hendrix, a lot of performing rock bands tune everything down a half step. It's for a fuller sound and sort of like just a, a fatter kind of thing. People talk about it being for the vocals. It's not really that, just a bigger sound, people think. I'm in two minds. But uh, the pause track is recorded in E flat. Um, so it's actually uh, a sound. The root note is, is E, uh, the key of the song. And... Um, and uh, so when you hear it, uh, you're hearing E-flat. So what I've done for the purposes of this is I've now recorded it in standard tuning for people who've got regular guitar tuning and want to learn the song. So have a listen now to this song in standard tuning. <laughs> The main riff, uh, which is really like a reference to the I need a drink, da, 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 knock me off my feet, that part. Um, uh, it's a good riff. Uh, it's a great riff. And the chords are A, A, B, G, A, E.
But uh, when I seen uh, Julian and uh, Daniel, who's a great guitar player who now plays in the poor, um, they they pretty much don't finger the whole B. They play A, and then here's the B, but they just just uh, double stop it here. G. So it's not a full chord, but the, the essential chords are A, B, G, A, E. So uh, break them down to just like a little uh, triad here. Pull the G. A. That's, the, that's that uh, main riff. So next we have the verse section, and really this song, I, I like this song the way it's constructed, it's really like a blues song. Uh, it's a one, four, five, for those of you that know what I'm talking about. The first chord of a, of a scale, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord. So that's how a blues song goes, and um, you know, the blues had a baby and they called it rock and roll, I firmly believe that, and uh, the rock songs I prefer the most have that blues leaning. This is one of those tunes. So the, the, so the verse kind of goes from the root note, the, the, the E uh, here, but uh, I recall that, um, Julian would strum up, up, down, like that to get it. So that kind of vibe. And then the next chord is the A, which kind of follows the vocal. Riff. A again. B, but then there's like a leading chord, which is the D leads into the chorus. And for the chorus, we have E to G, E to G. That's the start of the chorus. A, referencing the G. The riff again, but now it gets different. We play a C and a G. B. Little walk up there. So I think um, uh, Matty on the bass goes A, B flat B. So it's like five, six, seven. And Daniel would play, I think, I think he plays the thirds. But he plays it up on this octave. That's what I've noticed him do anyway. So it would go like a, a. C. B. Riff again. Etc. One more section that happens before the solo, and it kind of is a walk up uh, from E through F sharp G to A. There's a different version every second time that goes to just to the G. So kind of, kind of like this. Oi. Then just goes E G A, I think. Into the solo. So uh, I know that uh, Julian did the thing here, and then hammer on our love Van Halen, which we we all love. We're all tragics, really. And uh, Daniel is a similar thing. He starts off the same, and when I see Daniel play live, then after that, kind of goes into his own territory, which is exactly what I would do. Um, uh, once again, uh, I love Daniel's playing. Uh, he's he's uh, very welcome in the band. Uh, I'm not political, but I, I love both those guys who play guitar in the band. Danny's a great guitar player, great tone, great rock sound. 
and Chops to Burn. So uh, check out their new version of the song. Uh, and, um, you know, I hope this helped. This was my request. Uh, since we've got some downtime, I am taking a few more requests for uh, um, any little tutorials. And they're just kind of tips to get you going, really. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and um, I'll see you at the next one. Guitar, 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 guitar. No!